Hello, I'm your host, Dan Rojas. In this video, we are going to be converting a regular trash can lid into something I call Daniel's Mirror. It's a mirror I made in a previous video. The link is below. It shows you how to convert a box frame into a very powerful solar cooker. We're going to be making a drum, a nice flat mirror, and a 21-inch parabolic mirror that works really well. It's very lightweight. They can be used for cooking, smaller than the other one, or possibly even a pretty fair telescope mirror. We're going to get started on this. For this project, you're going to need a drill with a 1 8 inch drill bit, a trash can lid with a nice smooth edge, and I went ahead and sealed this with a little bit of flex seal on the back and some silicone on the inside. Do this before you do the next step. You'll have problems. Also, look for any holes that may be present around the outside of the trash can lid if it's a used one. I'm using regular clear silicone, strapping tape, and regular tape. And of course, a mylar blanket. Now, this is all crinkly, but that one that I just showed you was made with this. Before you get started, you want to have a nice, clean working area. And you want to find a flat spot on here. We're going to put a hole. You want to cut a circle out of your mylar using either a larger circle as a guide or put a one inch barrier between this and cut. I went ahead and cut this. We now have a circle. We're going to place this down and we're going to do just like we did in the other video. Same stretching method. And this is strapping tape. If you tear it kind of weird down the middle, you get uneven pieces just fine. You're going to take a piece like this cut it because we don't need it that wide right now and we're going to pick a side to start with make sure you got a good seal there and I am going to turn this so you can see what I'm doing we're perfectly across and we want it to stretch you want to feel that stretch in there now you're going to do your opposite sides nice rainy night give it a nice stretch and after your first tour you should have something ugly like that. But don't worry, it's going to get better. To get a good seal to your mylar, slide the tape under. Make sure you don't go under the front. Press it down good. And give it a good stretch. It's coming together. It's getting tighter. A few years ago, I showed you how to make fire with water using the weight of the water to create a parabolic shape. We also did starting a fire with a water bottle. The ones from Sam's Club actually work the best. And let's see, we did a 10 cent solar collector using stretch film like this. So the rain's coming down harder, I have to compete with that. I'm not voicing this video over. Once you get your final tape in place, you should have something that you can play music with. It's nice and tight, but it's not tight enough yet. The way that we get the final stretch, it takes all of those little crinkles out. You want to take your strapping tape and split it in half, like this, and along this edge, it's a little tricky to do, it's easier with two people, but you run your tape, you get started, and then you give it a nice pull. It's okay if this folds over a little here, it's not a big deal, you don't have to be perfect with this. You just don't want it to end up on the front side. Now it's even tighter. So we have our hole in the back. We kind of have a vacuum now. We could probably draw a vacuum in there. It's airtight. Any areas where you see silver or where the tape is, you want to seal it with the clear cellophane tape and rub it down real good. I'm going all the way up above the tape pattern. And this is what gives you your seal. So once we have completed that, we now have our nice flat mirror. These lines will go away over time. They'll still be there a little bit, depending on how crinkled the mylar was, but 
For a solar cooker, we don't really care. A little hole we're going to cover with a small piece of tape. And keep one end lifted up. Turn it under so it makes like a tab that you can grab. So whenever you draw your vacuum, you pull it back, draw your vacuum, and then put it back down. You can use your mouth to do this just like uh, the other one. In fact, this this little tab is, I recommend using this on the big mirror, the big square mirror design too. It took me 30 minutes a piece to make these. They transfer sound pretty good. Sorry about the sound of the rain on the roof. It's nighttime out, so I can't test these with solar, but if you look at the focal point with lights, it's pretty good. And these have held the vacuum for an hour. You may have to draw the vacuum if you have a little leak somewhere, but it's not a big deal. This is how you make a parabolic mirror out of a trash can lid. Or a very nice drum. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos.